Hey everyone, what's happening? Hope all has been well. In today's review, we're gonna do a really quick one and it's predominantly gonna be based around an ultimate mic test, I guess is the best way I can put it, because we're gonna be reviewing the Jabra Evolve 265. Now this headset has gotten a lot of buzz since the Jabra Evolve 65. I've often have said that this headset is one of my favorites and has one of the best noise canceling mics of all time. However, it has worn out, it's had its time, the Bluetooth connection is iffy, and just the overall look and design is, it's nice that they finally had a refresh. So what does it say on the box as far as features and the functionality of this? So three microphone call technology, 37 hours of battery life, built-in busy light, which I think is awesome, wear on either ear, thank goodness, 40 millimeter speaker for exceptional audio, and it works on all leading UC platforms. So with this review, what I was namely thinking about, because there's only so much I can talk about with a mono headset, is doing an ultimate mic test of this to see how strong this is. So there's gonna be three different mic tests I'm gonna do. Obviously in a quiet room here in my office, and then I'm gonna do one running the dryer and just kind of opening and closing things, messing with some dishes and running a blender just because if we're talking working from home, those things are gonna happen. And the last microphone test I'm going to do is in a real coffee shop. I'm gonna make sure it's really busy in there before I do the mic test, just to really see how strong it is. And I'll do it with the mask and with one off. So this is going to be the best microphone test I can do because that's gonna be the most important thing about this headset, in my opinion. So let's get into it, let's see how it does. All right, so a blender just actually went off in the background, so this is actually better for the mic test of me being in a coffee shop. There is some noise, some music, and a speaker right above my head, and there's a few people around me, but nothing too crazy. So the blender is still going. All right, it just turned off. All right, microphone test just walking around in my house. This is no noise in the background so far. I'm now gonna start my dryer. I'm standing right in front of my dryer and I'm gonna open and close it to see if the door... All right, now I have a blender ready to go and I just have water in it. I didn't wanna waste any food. I'm gonna put it on medium right now. See if that picks up even when I'm talking. All right, so what do you think about it? In my opinion, I think they've drastically upgraded their Jabra Evolve series with the Jabra Evolve 2 line, especially comparing this to the Jabra Evolve 65. That's still a good headset, but they're basically retailing for the same price with slight discounts every now and then. I would say just go with the new updated version. And the number one reason why is because of the connectivity with a soft phone with the USB dongle on your computer and how strong the connectivity is with your smartphone. That's the number one reason why. I feel like this is going to last a lot longer than my original Jabra Evolve 65 did. Now, how does it fit with either ear? Well, the number one thing I noticed is when I have it on my head, let me adjust it real quick. But the number one thing I noticed when I have it on my head and I flip the boom arm down, it doesn't hit my frames. There's some headsets where they're too, uh, obtrusive or whatever the word is and it'll hit my frames and that's kind of annoying especially if you want to flip the mic upward to turn it on mute that's really in handy not to have to worry about that if you wear glasses and also it just doesn't I mean there's enough of a curve right here to where it doesn't invade my space with my glasses as well but I would say my favorite feature of this headset the way it was designed I it's not really a feature but thing I noticed is me breathing doesn't get into the mic often. There's some headsets where it'll be out to here or it's a little too close to the mouth, even though this is close to the mouth. And for some reason, it just, no matter, I'd have to lift it a little bit upward or all the way down, like past my chin kind of thing, just to make sure it doesn't catch my breath. So of course, you're always gonna have those things that pick up, absolutely. I mean, it's a boom arm for crying out loud. And especially when it comes to side tones. So let me actually record this on my computer as well but I'll walk you through all the features that you get with the software of using this on your computer. All right, 65 on my M1 MacBook Air. The number one thing I would recommend is to get it update, updated before you even use this. But when it comes to the settings in the device itself, one thing I love, as I mentioned before, is the side tone feature. 
if you go all the way down here and you can select it to be pretty high but right now i have it at three decibels and it sounds natural it sounds really good but you can even turn it all the way off if you want and there's really not much to explain that's too complicated here you can see you can have a busy light on a meet reminder tone you can even change the name of it soft phone and this is if you want to prioritize it with different things i'm not too familiar with that honestly <laughs> And then the other thing too is just the audio configuration. If you get the stereo version, what's awesome is you can adjust the entire frequency ranges to set your EQ settings when listening to music and whatnot. So that's pretty much it, very plain and simple. So have I noticed any issues with this? Well, honestly, not yet. I haven't noticed any crackling, any issues with the Bluetooth connectivity, um, having two devices connected at once, as long as you're off one of your calls on your computer and something does pick up on your smartphone, it connects instantly. It just knows what it's doing. It's because it's updated, you know? And that's the thing on why whenever, if anyone asks me, should I get an older model or a new model? Anytime a company comes out with a newer model with these headsets, just go with that and spend the extra money because of reliability. So I haven't noticed any issue with that. As far as when I was testing it in the coffee shop and I was on a few calls, just to really see like, hey, in a real world experience, doing professional business with this headset, does it perform well and not just doing it for a YouTube test. People, I mean, they heard background noise, but not really. You know, they thought I was in a library or something. And the number one compliment I get with this headset that I noticed above all else is people kept saying, hey man, that's some crisp audio you got. Like you're always on a different headset, but which one is this? because people love that they can hear me well. And this is why I always say, when it comes to a headset, it's worth the investment, even if you're talking to friends and family, because when you're heard clearly, for some reason, people just wanna to talk to you more. So when it comes to the hardware of this headset, there's a few things I noticed that were super convenient that other headsets have, but I will just explain with this one. For example, the little tab right here is so convenient because it makes it easier to stretch on your head to put it on. Also with the, I mentioned this before, with the boom arm flipping it upward to put it on mute is super handy because when I was in a coffee shop, I just kept thinking, man, it makes it a lot easier than just pressing the button. And also people don't need to hear the coffee shop the whole time I'm on a call. It makes it easier to just go like this when it's my turn to talk or if I have a question or whatever it is, and then you flip it up and boom, you're done to let your coworker or whoever it is you're working with have their word without that little bit of noise coming in the background still. Comfortability, I've had this on for three hours at a time without having to switch ears or without getting ear fatigue. It's pretty impressive to me. The buttons are really tactile. They don't feel that cheap. I mean, it is plastic. It's not the most fancy or you know, impressive button work, but then again, I mean, it's a headset. Like, you know, how, how much can you complain about? USB-C charging, it charges very quickly, that 37 hours of battery life. It's been four days since I've been using this on and off for work, especially with doing this review. I still haven't had to charge it. All right, I think that's it for this review. Not really much else to talk about. I mean, I just think the only debate really is if you want stereo or mono. If you're on a lot of calls, just in my experience, we're talking three hours straight before a break or longer, always go with mono because it just makes your work day a lot less stressful. You don't have ear fatigue on both ears. You can always switch ears every hour or whatever. It's kind of like staring at your computer screen too long. If you have a break every 20 minutes to look away for 20 seconds, trust me, it helps your eyes a lot better than staring the whole time at your screen. So that's the only debate I would say is if you're on and off with calls, like you only use this every now and then, get the stereo so you can listen to music and podcasts a lot better in between your work if you have that option. But if it's more than two or three hours straight before a break, definitely get a mono headset just in my experience. So I hope this review is helpful and simple, most importantly, to good health. I hope all is well out there and I'll see you all in the next one.